Hi Virgo, welcome to your message you need to hear. This is a second part of what they aren't telling you. So if you haven't seen that yet, you might wanna check that out. Um, this is intended to be a romantic love reading, but it may resonate in other areas of your life. This is for September 26th through, is it 26th? 26th through October 25th. Um, this is intended, <laughs> I already said that, sorry. Um, the recommend a reader shout out is 13 signs tarot love and support to her check her out show her some love and support yourself if you like what she has to say um, and for everything else you need to know about this reading oh that was two of wands that fell out everything else you need to know about this reading uh, check the description box below hmm are you making a decision of some sort at the crossroads what is going on Virgo trying to decide are they trying to decide? You two are at the crossroads. All right, Virgo. Okay, Virgo. What's a message you need to hear? We got strength. That could be Leo. Let's see. Crack eight. Hold on a minute. Temperance, Three of Cups, Oopsie. The World, Five of Wands, Six of Wands, Four of Wands, and the Two of Cups. All right. Just move this to the side. Okay, all right. Just clarify with these guys right here. Hmm. I need to hear. So, is this someone that wants a second chance and is kind of waiting and hoping for coming back around again to state their case? Is that what we're dealing with here? Someone that's just kind of buying, biding their time? All right, what's this Three of Cups? Hold on. It's this Three of Cups? Coming in hot. Oh, there it is, Eight of Wands. Coming in hot, okay. This is someone I think that wants a second chance that will be waiting on your decision or um, I think they want you to know that they are standing by and ready. Um, they haven't come forward because you two have ended but I think if you were to let them know that you felt the same, they would certainly uh, be willing to reverse any and all, you know, whatever has happened. Uh, all is forgiven, that sort of thing. What's this world card about? Three of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, this is someone that's just kind of completely withdrawn or at least is not in any real serious relationships. Um, they're just kind of hanging out and I think they're hoping that you will reconsider. What's this five of wands? Ten of wands. What's this temperance card about? What's this temperance card about? Justice. Okay, so this could be Libra, Sagittarius, Leo. All right, what's this Six of Wands about? Just Six of Wands. Ace of Swords. Whoopsie. All right, so this is someone that despite all the drama, I think they still want, um, they would like you, and I say drama because it's showing up here, and that's not a judgment call. Um, this is someone that would still like to work at it. This is someone that if they could, they would fix it. They would make it better. They would do what they, anything that was asked of them. What's this four of wands about? This is someone that regrets probably ending it. Um, they're having second thoughts now. Obviously there's regret and they want to undo what they did. And they are not, they haven't, I think what they want you to know is that they haven't progressed at all. It's just, they kind of just flatlined. 
No, wait, that's a bad way to say it. Uh, not flatline. They've just, they aren't dating. They aren't doing, making leaps and bounds with anything. They might be really busy, but it's, it's busy work. It's not like they're kind of making strides in their professional life or family. Like they're, they're not really thriving. They've just kind of stayed the same because, um, part of them is really thinking about, oh my God, what have I done? You know, um, they don't know how much they can say though, because things are, um, things have ended and even perhaps somebody's moved away. Maybe someone's relocated. Um, but someone's really kind of having a hard time. They're thinking about this quite a bit. And yeah, this is someone that wishes thing they had handled things differently. And, and that would be like the number one thing they wish they could say to you is that they wish they handled things differently. Um, they're so... This is not someone, though, that's going to come forward about that. I think they feel like, okay, what's done is done, or there's no way Virgo would want to talk to me. So this is all about being around people that are going to be in support of this person and you just being aware of what you're doing and whatnot, but not crowding you, not asserting themselves, not do anything, doing anything that would kind of um, stir the pot or undo anything. I think they're just kind of in review and still really thinking about how they could have done things differently. And I, I do think they regret the breakup with you. What's this Two of Cups about? Four of Swords. So, this is someone that is hoping that it's a break, not a breakup. This is someone that is hoping that there's still a second chance for you two down the road. Um, and if, again, if you were to say, you know, we could do, this could work out, we, they would be coming in hot. So, but it's funny because for as much as they regret, they're still kind of in the thinking phase. They're still kind of in the laying low and processing phase and not really doing anything about it. Um, but this is, the, it could be because they're trying to figure out a way to do it. It could be that they haven't really perfected an argument yet or like the, and something must have gone down <laughs> because this is someone that just feels like it's better to leave it lie um just to kind of whatever happened let it lie for a while and then um maybe in the future to revisit like okay now is now a good time for us you know i know this is our past but how about something new like I've changed. Are you willing to give me a second chance? That type of thing. Um, yeah. It, this is... So for as much as someone is having regrets, I think they're still processing this because they're not wanting to quite come forward yet. And they're actually okay with um, things needing to take the time that... Or for some reason, this separation was the best possible solution. But they are hoping that it's a break, not a break up. They're having some regrets about the way it handled or the way it was handled. Um, maybe you just ran into them also. There's there's this um, element of kind of maybe seeing you out of the blue and then they're kind of lost in reflection after that and then it kind of takes them down memory lane for a while. But they're not, they really don't want to do anything because they don't know what position to take. Like they don't really feel like they have a leg to stand on. You know what I mean? Like they what would be their opener? How would they, other than, okay, some time's gone by. So, um, I was thinking, how about, you know what I mean? Maybe they were waiting for you to be ready and they regret ending it because you weren't ready. Maybe they would like to have given more time. They just, things ended. There's an element of them wishing it could have been different and just reviewing everything. And, and maybe it wasn't the right time for, this because this person is happy just to be among friends and to work and to kind of lay low and do their own thing this is not someone that wants to get out there and party and get after it and have the you know live their best life 24 7 and this is someone that's content to kind of bide their time and just peaceably go along okay this could be an online relationship they could have re-entered your life out of the like you know just like come in out of the blue and then that's caused you 
or them to really start reconsidering and thinking about things. Why am I shuffling this deck? Perhaps they're asking, hmm. Maybe they reached out online and asked, hey, can we meet for such and such? Or, you know, I saw you the other day. How about we get together and talk? And it's like, oh, okay. It's, it's interesting because part of it, there's this element of, oh, you know, I regret how things ended. I'm really sorry. But then there's this also this acceptance that it had to be that way. But, hey, things might be different in the future. Or, hey, how you been? I've been thinking about you. So either someone went off to school um, you two were just decided you're better off as friends, but this person, I think seeing you again, there's been, there was something that reminded them of you, whether it's running into you, seeing your presence online, running into a family member, something reminded them of you. And they've been kind of thinking about you ever since. And if they could tell you, it'd be that they regret how things were handled for the ending. Um, they even regret things ending. I think in hindsight, this is about them wishing that you could have, they could have been more understanding. They, you could two could have talked more, um, and they you would have figured out a way to to you know work with what was going on um, rather than end it, because this is someone that is really hoping that there is a way to have a second chance, not that that's the final final. I think they maybe that's what they want to talk to you about. I was like, hey, so is, do you think there'd ever be a chance in the future? That's where we're going to go. All right, so we got intuition kicking in here. <laughs> it says guide and divine timing. We've got intuition kicking in. Synchronicity, you know, things appearing out of the blue, no coincidence, that sort of thing. Not talking about a stalker. This is about, this is coming back around again for a reason. Um, divinely guided. So things are at work behind the scenes. I think you're kind of okay with things being what they are. I think your person is handling this um has been thinking about this a lot more than you have i think this is them maybe having some epiphany something but this is there's something going on that's bringing them towards you and you might be happy go lucky about things you know and, and just kind of doing your own thing but this person is really feeling drawn towards you um and I think they're hoping to hear that you would still be open to a reconciliation in the future, that you still feel the same, that this is not a break up, it's just a break. It's very interesting because time has, enough time has gone by, but it's like it all comes flooding back for them. And it's almost like you, you two pick up right where, or they would like it to, they still feel the way they always felt. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't ignore the signs I'm receiving any longer. Good gracious. All right. Well, talk about divine timing and guide. This is, yeah, this is someone that's, um, if they could, they would come in hot. And I don't think that's going to slow them down much anyway. I think this is someone that won't be able to really help themselves and, and just, the only thing that's going to be tempered is the intensity of the approach or like how much of it, because if they find out that you're on board, you look out <laughs> there. Yeah, it's, it will be on as the young kids say. Did I do, I did that. Okay. All right. Oh, I didn't do this one. So we got guide divine timing and I can't ignore the signs I'm receiving any longer. Holy cow. <laughs> This is someone that's really hoping you're ready for a stable relationship and that mainly the reason you broke up before was because of timing or that you just weren't ready, not because you didn't love them. You didn't feel that deep connection. What else for Virgo? The Empress. Nice. Not too shabby. So that... Uh, <laughs> this could be Taurus or Aries. Um, 
perhaps this was a relationship that it was simply the wrong time for it because if we're going by how this person feels, this is someone that thinks a return to this is worth it. They understand why it happened, the breakup and whatnot, but they'd like a second chance to do it differently. It's like they know better now or enough time has gone by to where they're different. They've had some life experiences, blah, 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 blah. This is someone that wants a do-over. This is someone that wants to do, um, wants the stability and wants to grow together as a couple, wants to work things out, wants to be on the same page, wants to communicate more. This, whatever you missed the first time around or whatever was a miss, they're coming back around because um, they can't ignore how they feel any longer. They're coming back around. And it, it, it's honestly, I think they'll take you in whatever capacity you would allow in their life. This is someone that does not want to lose the connection with you. What else for Virgo? And for the record, I don't know what, I don't remember the, the, um, what they aren't telling you reading. So I'm just, this, I'm going off of what's going on here. Um, and there's always a chance that it could be a different group of Virgos I'm reading for, but I, I don't know how this ties into what I read before. All right. What else for Virgo? Okay. So we've got like that. And then the, when it's like this, I was like, okay, so, oh, hangman. All right, so hangman and two, okay. Hangman and two of wands reverse. So this is about things being in limbo. Um, there's, a, it's like a non-starter because there's, there's a change that happened. It was a necessary change, even karmic, and things have to run their course. And so because of that, it's almost like you two like aren't moving forward at this time there's um it's almost like after the breakup you're going your separate ways and you're kind of living your lives things are in suspension or in limbo they're kind of unfinished because at least by this person's estimation they things are unfinished at least they're hoping it is um because maybe it's even logistically undesirable but there's for, for whatever reason there was a need to um, end things and take care of some other parts of lie, your lives or whatnot. So right now there's no forward movement, no planning. But I think they're hoping that's just because of the situation, not because of that you really don't feel for them anymore. Because you say the word and all you gotta do is say the word. <laughs> okay, um, good Lord. All right, we're going to, um, Good luck to you, honestly. I, I mean, if you want it, it's there. Maybe you don't even have to say anything. You just give them the, the look, give the person the look, and they'll be like, all right, yep, got it. Message received. What are you doing tomorrow night? <laughs> I hope this was helpful. Um, I hope to see you in the next reading, and I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm glad for this. Um, there's a sense of satisfaction and relief, so I don't know if it's kind of... I don't know where that's coming from, but it feels like a relief knowing that you two are on the same page. So maybe it's your person after they talk to you. Maybe it's you feeling like, oh, okay. So they're kind of thinking what I'm thinking. I, yeah, this felt like a calm reading. It, I feel calm. So I hope to see you in the next reading. Thank you for stopping by. Take care.